not only can Punjab go into the top six tonight, they can go into the top six, two points clear of the rest. Amajit is in place of the suspended Nikhil Prabhu and the front three have scored 15, also returning. Carlos Martinez took seven shots from inside the box versus East Bengal without scoring. Which is astonishing, really. This is the fixture with which FC Goa started their season all the way back in early October. A 1-0 win with some nervous moments at the Fatorda. But Punjab were completely different at that time. Someone manages to tame them. Last time out, it was Mumbai City. And now the great tamer of teams, Manolo Marquez, is visiting. He faces two of the three most attacking players. There's nothing wrong with going. There's a good ball from Jay Gupta into the channel. Here's Noah. Nice cut back as well. Rainier with a shot on target, but Ravi Kumar just palming it over. Again, Bora. Oh, what a shot! What a goal, Carl McHugh! Incredible stuff! Sheer power in Delhi! Absolute dynamite beginning for FC Goa! Loves scoring from set pieces. Does Carl McHugh always on the end of things? I remember him scoring in his first game for ATK all those years ago. He did it against Mumbai at the Mumbai Football Arena from a free kick and this stunning volley. Rainier. Rainier shot and Ravi Kumar had to palm it away again. Just enough on that then, Ravi Kumar. And the QR code. Play, compete. Ricky Chapong. And he would saw that go past. Had deep right scrambling though, didn't it? Just for that split second. Noah he slips away from Ashish Pradhan. And gathering pace. Noah Sadawi just drags it away. Here's Murdi Talal. Oh, he likes that. But this time it didn't dip down. Brandon. Gets it back from Udanta. And it was towards Borha. Important block. Melroy Assisi. Did he get any of the ball? Nice give and go between Udanta and Noah. Noah takes a shot. Ravi Kumar had to be careful. Got caught watching there. Got caught ball watching. Brandon. Oh. Wonderful little triangle. Rainier to Brandon. Brandon to Borha. Gupta's cross. Falls to Udanta. The setup for Rainier, and he still doesn't have it. Clip the crossbar there. Just slightly getting underneath that one. Very, very well played again from Goa. And again, Manolo will be pulling his hair out at half-time because they've had some real, real good chances to literally put this game in their pocket and really in their hands. They lost to Mumbai. And I think there's a certain player on the pitch who scored the winning penalty for Mumbai. If I'm not mistaken, it was uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, of course. Noah. It drops in front of him, Noah, attempting to hit that. Everybody gets injuries, everybody gets suspensions. you just got to get on with it. This is football. Noah. Oh, opens up wonderfully from him. What a strike. Once again, the woodwork. Another lash. Wilma Jordan and Luca Marchen. Wilma Jordan will put it in. And there's the equalizer. You can never keep them quiet for too long. One all in this game. And Stikos Vergetis has his response. What do we say about individual errors? Could prove costly. Manolo's been begging for a second goal in games, and this is why. If the ball's whipped in, it's next to nothing. O'Day goes in there, Luka Machan gets the ball, fires it goal-bound as Seraton went to close down. Clearly on side, by the way, when this ball comes back across was Wilmat Jordan-Gill. Lungdim. And towards Wilmat Jordan! How close was that? And now their tails are up. That's the one, he's got to bury that. Luka Marchin might be found if the Lal could play it. He does play it. Luka Marchin! And now they roar! The Lal to Luka 
action and a fantastic finish and Punjab have turned it around at the den that's what happens when you lose concentration you lose focus and you get caught ball watching Seraton is out of position here but I tell you who isn't out of position, that's Luka Machan. Look at Serraton trying to get back in, and he can't. And Luka Machan's not the quickest in the world. He wasn't the best first touch in the world, but doesn't he make amends with the final touch here? He just sat nicely for him. Brandon. You, you Carl McHugh's header. Noah. Taking on Abhishek. And for Carlos Martinez, it's very smartly done. And is that a penalty? They've given it. Noah slots it in. And some doors shut. And some open in the Indian Super League. And it happens very quickly. It's two all again. The cheeky eyes is what did it there. He's just gone the other way. He normally just whips his foot right round this. This time he's kept that foot open, he's just tucked it into his right-hand side. That's why Ravi's gone. To... Tucks it back. Carlos Martinez with a set-up. And it's gone over by a Carl McHugh. One mirror shot! Punjab chasing a dream! And one Mera with the dream strike in Delhi. This Indian Super League world, it spins and unspins. And this one has spun back in favor of Punjab. What a finish that is from one Mera. Back in action. That is the big thing and that is the big news. But that is some, some finish from one Mera. Goa should have scored at the one end, and as it is, Jay Gupta again caught out of position, and he's one-on-one -on -one with Juan Meru, drops that shoulder, comes in, and shows supreme quality, bending it into that far corner. What a finish that is. Really do have to put their foot on the gas to try and get this equaliser again. And Carlos Martinez! And go out back! And that's the quality that Punjab have to deal with. That's the quality they have to keep up with. Three all. They can't lose concentration. They can't lose focus. And that's exactly what they did there. And what do we say about bringing Martinez on a little bit later on as that focal point? What a ball this is from Carl McHugh. Absolutely brilliant. And Noah, it's come off his shoulder, you know. I don't think it's a clean header, but it finds Martinez, who's just going to slot it in from five yards out. Jay Gupta. Jay Gupta's attempt. It's gone wide. Just last across the ball, didn't he? Noah. Oh, has it gone in? It's in the air right now. <laughs> Go on, a give in. Still time. And that is that. What a game in Delhi. Manolo Marquez was comfortable at 1-0 at half-time. And then extremely uncomfortable during that second half. Both managers going for it. Goals from six different players. An absolute thriller.